Hi, and welcome to this presentation of some of the business intelligence features in Travel Operations Enterprise. We are using one of the most powerful reporting tools on the market, Power BI from Microsoft. And in this video, we will be showing some of its many capabilities in connection with Travel Operations Enterprise for Microsoft Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. Travel Operations Enterprise is a complete mid and back office solution built on Microsoft Dynamics 365. What does this mean for you? Well, it means that you are getting all the standard functionality delivered by Microsoft, but also a complete set of travel-specific features developed by Travel Operations that is validated and certified by Microsoft. At Travel Operations, we feel that it is our duty to give you the power to dynamically follow each corner of your business closely. We believe that the time when reports were in fixed formats with very little flexibility belongs to the past. Over the next few minutes, I will give you an insight into how Power BI gives you the ability to not only generate detailed reporting on financial or travel-related data, but also how you can combine both in order to keep better track of your business. Additionally, you will see how Power BI enables you to offer your customers an online access to their data, saving a lot of time to your organization while taking customer service to a whole new level. For this demo, I am logged in as a travel consultant, so I can only view and access the tiles that are relevant to this specific role. Each of the six tiles you can see on the screen now redirects you to a different workspace from where you can access both analytics and Power BI reports. Let's have a look at some of the analytics within the Travel Consultant workspace, right here. Here again, the number of analytics reports available for the individual varies based on the role of the user. This means that as a consultant, you will only have access to this area, the Consultant Analytics tab, while as a supervisor, manager, or similar, you would also have access to view figures on team, area, and brand levels. If I click here on Consultant Transactions, I can directly have a quick overview of my own transactions, but I can also access several sub-areas through the tabs here at the bottom. You can filter the data very simply and, for instance, include a few more months or add other criteria on any report in the application. You can always include or exclude records, apply filters, and sort the data, quick and easy. As I mentioned earlier in this video, your security role controls what areas you can access and what data you can view. That means users will only see data that are relevant and data they are allowed to see. Let's have a look at the Company Margin tab. Here, as a consultant, I am only able to see my own margins. Now let's say I'm a manager, and as such, I have access to the brand analytics, right here. Here, I can see the same details for all consultants, and again, I can play with the filters and choose specific employees, pick one or more department, etc. By clicking on the horizontal ellipsis here, I open more options, and among them, I always have the option to export the data into Excel if I prefer to work with the data there. As you can see, Travel Operations Enterprise offers many options to work with the data within the application, but you are always free to export it into different tools. OK, let's head back to the home page. Out of the box, Travel Operations Enterprise comes with an extensive set of insights with different views and purposes. All data on which the reports are based is real-time data coming from booking sources generated within the system or other sources. That means you don't have to wait for a daily transfer of data into a data warehouse or a similar setup in order to see how your business is performing. What I just showed before was what we call embedded reports that come with a solution. The embedded reports are also accessible from within the workspace. Let me go into the Sales Order Management workspace. Going to the Analysis tab, we can drill even further down in the data, where we have three different points of view. You can see it from the Customer angle by clicking on Sales, the Geographical perspective when selecting Maps, and finally, the Financial view. The key to all of these different angles is that all reports are built on data captured from all your booking sources in combination with your financial data. Alright, let's go back to the Sales Order Management workspace. I'm going to select my team's transactions and let it load for a bit. OK. So here, you can see what we call a pinned Power BI report. These pinned Power BI reports are something that we, at Travel Operations, have built and deliver as part of the application. But you can also build your own Power BI reports yourself and pin them on the existing workspace of your choice 
or even create your own personal workspace in Dynamics 365. What that means is that you can identify exactly what information is relevant for your organization and your employees and create a custom report that you and your employees can access directly from the application. All the reports, built-in or custom-made, share the extensive data set based on your booking and financial data. Let me draw your attention to the visuals showing where the individual PAX is on a map and underneath it is possible to see revenue by airline. This gives the consultant a quick and visual overview. Let's have a look at one of these reports here in the Sales Order Management Workspace. Clicking on the pinned tile will open the full report, which you can view directly inside the application. Or you can also click here on Open in Power BI to access the data and work with the data in the standard Microsoft Power BI web application. You can now edit and customize the report by clicking here. You can change the layout through the Visualizations panel here. Add slicers, filters, and so on. We deliver a solid and fully functional foundation and the extensive data set, and you have the power to make the most out of it. OK, let's leave this for now, and we're going to go back to the report to see what is offered off the shelf. On the overview, you can add filters. Say we want to see how much a given department has sold, so we're going to add that as a criterion. Let's select department number 100. And here we go. The data was updated. Of course, we could also add several other criteria, such as dates, destinations, and many other filters. Here at the bottom, you find some tabs that allow you to view more details using the filters added in the overview. You can view details on airlines, destinations, and your top travelers. So there is no longer any excuse for not being able to deliver relevant information internally or to your customers. All right, I'm going to head back to the home page and visit the Travel Consultant workspace. Let's select My Open Sales Orders. Here in the middle, we find another Power BI report. Let's click on it to access the full report. OK, so this report is designed to show you who is where and when. Through this report, you can easily get a list of affected travelers if something unexpected happens. If there is a strike, we can select the specific airline. If there is a grounded aircraft, we can select the specific aircraft type and you will instantly get a full list of affected travelers sorted by travel date so that you can proactively get in touch with the relevant passengers and rebook before they contact you. OK, back on the home page. Travel Operations Enterprise also offers what we call the Customer Workspace. Let's click here to have a look. The Customer Workspace is an area of the solution that makes it possible for you to share a link with your customers for them to be able to access their data and their data only online in real time and with absolutely no work from your side. In the Overview tab, we get instant access to some of our most important KPIs. Still in the overview, we can set filters to drill further down on data. Going to the following tabs here at the bottom will give us a more detailed view. On top airlines, for example, we get visibility about more airlines than on the overview and data is still filtered as per the settings on overview. The same goes for top destinations and so on. All you have to do is choose the person who needs access to this data, send them the link and off they go. Everything I've shown you is just small parts of what you get out of the box with Travel Operations Enterprise. As you can see, there is no limitation to what you can do with your data. We at Travel Operations make sure that all travel data from your booking sources and all your financial data is available right at your fingertips. We deliver a solid foundation of reports and enable you to easily expand from there. Our current customers really find the access to data, the ease of working with the data, and the visuals some of the most powerful elements in the Travel Operations Enterprise solution. Feel free to browse our webpage to find more information about Travel Operations Enterprise. Don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn to stay posted about all the travel operations and industry-related updates. You can find the link to our website and LinkedIn profile in the description box. If you would like to know more or schedule a demo, you are more than welcome to click on the contact button on our website to get in touch. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the next one.